All right, so this is going to just go over a quick disassembly of the uh, P2415Q 24-inch uh, Dell monitor. Uh, ideally, you're going to disassemble this because you also experience uh, horizontal gray lines, and you want to fix uh, those gray lines yourself because uh, you too are tired of them. So what we're going to do, uh, we want to power down the monitor, and in the back of that monitor, uh, disconnect the actual cables that are going into it. Uh, you can actually reconnect them once you disassemble the monitor if you want to test some things. Uh, but you need to disconnect the cables to uh, get the uh, display out. So the cables are disconnected. And then by pushing the button, the monitor comes right up to stand. So we're going to put the monitor stand down. We don't need that any longer. So the monitor, good thing to know, um, is completely basically snap fit together. The only thing else holding this monitor in place are four screws on the back of the of the monitor case. One, two, three, and four. So we're gonna start by just taking out those four screws. Those four screws are actually holding the monitor, uh, the display inside uh, to the back of this case. Take out the four screws. By the way, I recommend wearing gloves, not for this initial disassembly, but once you get into the monitor, um, you're gonna try to, you wanna resist putting fingerprints on everything. Uh, they're hard to, to wipe off. Uh, the electronics inside are somewhat sensitive. Uh, so better if you just wear gloves when you're disassembling this. Uh, keeps the fingerprints off everything. Once those four screws are in the back, the only other tool you need now is, the, is that um, pry tool. Um, you wanna get it underneath the, the ledge. Uh, you can start anywhere you want on the case, but basically you're fitting this between the black and the gray trim here. Uh, and the goal is basically to get in there and start to pry up uh, very carefully the, the bezel. The bezel is just snap fit in there, and you're looking to release the, uh, the little feet, if you will, the snaps that go around this case. So you can kind of work your way any way you want. Um, if you use caution and care, because it's plastic, uh, and ideally you don't want to damage it in the long run. You're just trying to get the bezel open. So you slowly make your way around the case and you'll start to see it uh, pop open completely. Uh, depending on your case, uh, mine goes pretty quickly here actually. Now be careful. Uh, again, I wouldn't use a knife or anything that's too thick. This iFixit pry tool is great because it's thin. Uh, you're also trying to avoid digging in there and kind of push it up too much. You, you, the, the display itself is uh, glass, uh, so you, you don't want to break it by kind of jamming it in there and, and popping up too much. Basically, I'm just going in there, trying to find these little feet, right, that are all around here, all these little feet, and getting in there and kind of pushing it up just to, just to release that. So it shouldn't take a lot of force or effort. Um, and the nice part is it goes relatively quickly once you get it going around. Now note that there's a ribbon cable right here that goes uh, from the buttons down into the case. Um, be careful and sensitive to that ribbon cable because you don't want to uh, tear it, or cut it. So leave it in place for now. Once you get the bezel out all the way, uh, you'll be able to uh, unscrew that ri ribbon cable um, from where the buttons are. So you just continue to work away around. No problem. Nice and easy. There we go. And so when you lift the bezel up, uh, it's gonna obviously come out really easy. You're gonna have this ribbon cable right here. And that's where the small uh, screwdriver comes in. There's three, one, two, and three little screws holding that in. Um, I'm deforming the ribbon cable a little bit, trying not to do that. I'm, uh, I'm always short on space here, so I'm gonna just lean it like this, and I'm going to unscrew these three screws, and you know, try to put those in a safe location. 
sometimes I'll recommend putting a magnet with the screws, uh, keep everything in its place if you feel like everything's gonna move around. So those three screws are now off. You can put the frame, the bezel to the side, and you are in the monitor uh, in the display. So this display is not held in by anything. Um, so you've already taken the four screws out in the back, you've released the ribbon. You can essentially tilt this up carefully because it will fall right out and uh, tilt this right up and it will uh, it'll come out of place. <clears throat> The, uh, the actual monitor itself uh, is the actual glass panel, and on the back uh, is, the, uh, is the power supply. So you actually don't need to touch any of that stuff, because the next step you're going to be doing, basically your goal is to get into this panel. So in this panel here uh, is where you need to make the adjustments uh, for the, uh, to get rid of the gray horizontal lines. So this metal frame that's going around can be uh, lifted off. There's tabs holding this metal frame on. Um, on one side, let's see here. So on this side, on the bottom of the monitor, you'll see that, so this is the ribbon cable, ribbon cable here, um, that you don't want to really deform. You're gonna be lifting, un undoing the metal frame here and lifting it up. And once you lift the metal frame up, you can get to this glass panel and I'll, I'll walk you through that. So the next thing we're gonna do is this one is um, only a little trickier because the metal itself is uh, stiffer than plastic but your same the same premise applies uh, you want to basically again the, the bottom of the monitor uh, you can't it, it that it's gonna be your hinge so I'll, I recommend starting in, in the top corner here you're trying to get under there carefully and release these tabs and again be, be gentle because it's glass uh, the display that is and you will potentially crack it if you apply too much pressure. So if you can get in there, you'll see that the, the tab is there and your goal is to release each of the tabs and you'll feel them give a little bit. And honestly, if, if one tab is giving you a little trouble, you know, work the next tab um, until you can kind of get around. So. This tab has been released right here. Oh, just snap back. Um, but because this one isn't released, I'm not gonna get any uh, pay dirt yet. So I'm gonna keep going around here, popping each of these tabs, listening for that noise. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, so that's all done on that side. I'm gonna go on this side. Lift this up. And over here. Lift this up. So this metal frame is now on this side, at least ready to come off. And we'll do the same to this other side. Sorry, it's a large monitor. I'm in my office, so it's a little, it's always a little tight, but it's even tighter with such a huge monitor and trying to get it all in the video. But basically, if you can see there, so we've undone all the snaps here and we're just opening this frame. Again, it has a ribbon cable on this side. And so that ribbon cable is staying, but what you'll now be able to see, one thing to be aware of, if you see any dust building up on the screen, always good to just wipe off that dust. You don't want that dust um, going behind the monitor. I'd, try, I'd recommend working in as, as dust-free as an environment as possible. It's hard in my house with all the kids and everything. But be aware that dust is not your friend here. Um, on the first surface, it's fine. But if it gets behind the monitor, especially big pieces, you, you will see that uh, dust blocking the light. Uh, we'll go over that in a second. So you're going to lift. So now you can see the, the glass panel is actually free, right? And so you have the glass panel, which is actually where the screen the graphics are displayed and then the light box which shines um, into the glass panel to light the graphics up is back here this 
black frame that's still in the in the on the um, on the monitor here this black frame is what holds the glass frame uh, to the light box and what we want to do is open this black frame because the issue with the gray lines is because the two diffusers that are back here need to be switched and if you're getting gray lines it's likely because the diffusers were assembled in the wrong order and they're and they're pressing against this glass panel 